it's Emily from Art and Soul Beads and today we're making this trendy three stone bangle. I've been getting a lot of requests about how to make this with a video, so here we go. You're gonna need a kitchen glass, three large stones, six feet of 20 gauge wire, a pliers, a snipper. I've got my wires um, already started for the base. I've just gently wrapped uh, my 20 gauge wire four times just using my hand um, to make the base. Now I'm going to grab the kitchen glass. You can see I have some just run-of-the-mill bangles on for size guides. So this is a standard size bangle so I'm gonna rest my wires right on top of the standard size bangle but if you needed to make a large bangle then you would just rest your wires on top of a large bangle and then you can kind of have a size guide and that helps so I'm going to just rest my wires right on top of my kitchen glass and tighten with both tails to really get a nice, tight, formed bangle with all four of these wires. You wanna just push it down and make it really nice and tight. One of my wires is about a little over a foot and you can see that my other wire is a little over two feet. We're gonna start putting our stones on the short wire so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the short wire and I'm just going to bend it back at a 90 degree angle, like a real dramatic 90 degree angle, and lift it off the glass, really holding on to everything with my thumb, really keeping everything really nice and in line. Now I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to wrap tight around two times around my bangle. One and two, two solid times. Push that back up there so that it's nice. Now, I always go ahead and put my bangle right back on to my cup and tighten both sides again just so that I get a really nice base before I start adding stones. And I'm ready to add my stone. I'm gonna add my stone to the project. And then you want to leave some space for your stones. These are relatively flat, but I like to leave like a little bit of space for the stone to rest. So about a couple millimeters up and then I fold my stone into place and I rest it onto the bangle base. And then dramatically push that wire down um, and start wrapping one, two times. Now with all this excess wire is when we're going to make our decorative loops around the bottom of the stone. So I'm just gonna go around, one, two, three. I like to wrap it around once more on this side and then go back over and wrap to finish one, two times around my bangle base. And then I can trim that wire off and apply some pressure over it. So now we have our first stone added and we're ready to start adding our other two stones. So I am going to just push my bangle right back onto the glass. Just make sure all the wires are aligned. And now I'm ready to place my second stone. So I always eyeball this. So what I do is I kind of just grab my three beads and I, um, and I eyeball it. I can see that I think that this stone would be great placed about right here. So when I'm ready to place my second bead, I'm going to hold my base nice and strong with my hands, and right at my thumbnail, I bend my wire back at a dramatic 90 degree angle. Now, a lot of times these wire bases, they'll, uh, they'll kind of turn like that. We don't want that. We want it to be nice and straight and a continuous look. So really hold nice and tight with your thumbnail and hold that wire into place and then start wrapping one, two times around your base. And you can see that I have a really nice turn there where there's not a lot of waviness. And I'm ready to add my stone. I'm gonna add my stone, but remember we need to leave a little spot for it on the bangle, so I'm going to turn at about a couple of millimeters, turn the bangle so that it turns 
The stone will rest right nice on the bangle. And then we're going to one, two times around the base. And now we're ready to add our decorative wraps. So here goes, going around and around, nice and tight. And um, I like to do one around on this side and then one, two around to make the wire ready for the next stone. Now you can see that the wire is going this way, but we really need it to go this way, right? So what I do is I take my pliers and I just bend it dramatically right where the wire and the bangle base meet up. Just gonna bend it, nice 90 degree angle. Place it back on my glass and just kind of push the wire towards that way. You can see that now it's going in the right direction and we're ready to add our third stone. So I'm just gonna kind of find the middle in between these two stones. Find a good spot to rest. My third stone. Notice my thumbnail is holding on to all of the wires and the free tail. I'm going to bend it at a 90 degree angle. One, two times around the base. I'm ready to add my stone. I'm going to push it over just like we did on the other two stones. Down really dramatic and one, two times around the bangle base and we're going to add the decorative wraps. One, two, just a couple. I'll try to make them all even but sometimes I get a little wrap crazy. It's okay, we all do. And then one, two times around that and I'm going to finish it off one, two times around. So now I'm ready to snip off this tail. And you wanna apply lots of pressure underneath that tail so that it doesn't get caught on people's sweaters or it doesn't feel uncomfortable to your skin. So really apply some pressure over top of where you've cut off. And then you can kind of um, go through and do this to all your wraps and really straighten out all your wraps and make sure that the bangle's really nice and consistent with your plier. Don't, don't be afraid to really get your plier in there and fix some of those wraps. And then I put it on my cup one last time, give it a nice push just to round it back out. And there is your three stone bangle with decorative wraps ready for the town. Thank you so much for watching our video on how to make these trendy bangles with decorative wraps. You can follow along picture by picture on our blog at artandsoulbeads.com. You can leave us a comment or ask us any questions in the comment box. Subscribe to our YouTube page to learn more tips and tricks on what's trending in jewelry. Also, you can get all of these materials on artandsoulbeads.com.